online gig work is opening a new horizon for jobs in developing countries. It holds significant potential for young people, women, and other vulnerable groups, but also comes with challenges. The World Bank report, Working Without Borders, The Promise and Peril of Online Gig Work, provides recommendations for countries to leverage these opportunities and mitigate risks while expanding social protections for all. Over the past decade, technology has fundamentally shifted traditional work patterns. It has brought economic opportunity and jobs to millions of people simply with access to broadband and a digital device. Online gig work is work that is performed and delivered online, independent of location. These jobs now account for as much as 12% of the global labor force, a number higher than earlier estimates. While developed countries dominate the demand for gig workers, demand from developing countries is rising at a much faster rate. For example, in Sub-Saharan Africa, job postings on the largest digital platform grew by 130%, while the growth rate in North America was just 14%. A flexible workforce benefits businesses, especially small firms and startups, to remain competitive and agile in a dynamic market. This helps firms grow and create more jobs. Unsurprisingly, three quarters of online platforms are in fact regional or local and not global. The online gig economy can play an important role in countries that are struggling with high levels of youth unemployment or underemployment. Young people are attracted to gig work to earn income, learn new skills, or have the flexibility to combine gig work with school or another job. And because online gig work provides flexibility in time and location, it can support increased participation for women, young people, and others in the labor market. In fact, in most regions, women are participating in the online gig economy to a greater extent than they are participating in the general labor market. Online gig work can also help extend work opportunities in smaller towns and villages beyond large capital cities. In fact, six in 10 online gig workers live in smaller cities. But gig work is not without risks. In low-income countries, most people work outside the purview of labor regulations without access to social insurance and benefits. And for many gig workers, especially young people, there is often an unclear career pathway. A considerable wage gap also still exists. For example, on a major gig platform in Latin America, a female online gig worker's wage is only 68% that of her male counterparts. Governments and the private sector both have important roles to play in harnessing this potential while also addressing the risks. Digital platforms can help increase the visibility of informal workers. This can also support government efforts to expand social protection coverage for all. Some private companies are developing solutions to facilitate tax planning, savings and financial access for gig workers. To support equitable, affordable broadband access, especially for disadvantaged groups like youth, women, and people in rural and hard-to-reach areas, countries can also prioritize investments to improve access to digital infrastructure, devices, and payment options. Countries can enhance social protection coverage of gig workers, partner with platforms, and experiment with new social insurance models and more modern, digitally enabled forms of collective bargaining. And governments can invest in strengthening their own capacity to collect data and monitor labor market trends in real time. With these and other initiatives, developing countries can leverage this growing part of the labor market to create more opportunities, expand economic inclusivity, and increase prosperity for their people.